Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you can Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a Zodiac reading for June 2022. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also to my subscribers, welcome back. To any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, we don't have the camp cup. We have this little, you know, other cup here. I'm using the other camp cup. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and grab one from out of here. What is this? Okay, we got Virgo. Virgo in the house. Okay, so we're gonna put that right there. This is for Virgo. And uh, we got some little candle thing going on here. <laughs> um, hopefully the wind doesn't blow it out. We're going to go ahead and shuffle these cards three times with the intention of Virgo for June 2022. This is for Virgo for June 2022. Ooh. The wind is blowing, so, you know, it's not any kind of creepy. This is for Virgo for June 2022. All right. Oh, creepy, right? Well, you know. All right. <clears throat> what do we have going on for uh, Virgo for uh, June 2022? Okay. Well, we got several cards that came out, so a lot of talking going on here. So... The Ace of Pentacles is your energy. Wanting to start something new, something brand new, being stable, um, yeah, grounded, stuff like that. Trying to do that, right? Now, what's involved is, in that is, you know, you want marriage, though. You want stability. You want marriage. You want a higher level of commitment with somebody that you've shared your emotions with. Wow. That's what it seems like here, right? So you're on a new path to some sort of like a new life, right? That's what it looks like with someone you would like to marry who you have shared your emotions with, a brand new life, okay? So you might have this in mind or somebody might be thinking of this about you, okay? I feel like I need to shuffle one extra time here because let's see what's really going on what's the situation what's the situation involving here aside from what we already know right okay we got the judgment card here so the situation, so that's what you want to do but you're there's still some judgment being placed on this situation Maybe you're not sure. Maybe you got cold feet. Maybe you are the one who will be asking somebody something or somebody wants to ask you something. They have cold feet. I don't know. Now, this is what an outcome can be. This is what somebody's thinking about, you know, after placing judgment here is will this be forever, right? Someone wants to know, is this going to be something that's forever? Because they don't want, you know, some people still have that in mind that they want when they get married, that shit's going to be forever, right? Some people got that in their mind. Some people have always had that in their mind, but unable to get that, right? Just because of, I don't know, maybe the partner they were with was not the same on the same level, right? Either way, somebody here wants forever and that you can have that. You know, but there is some judgment being placed here on a situation that somebody just needs to get over. I don't know what that is. Only you know if you're here. Only you know about what judgment you're being placed under. I don't know. But I do know the outcome can be forever. The Ten of Pentacles indicates something that this is forever. Right? This is going to go well for you. This is forever. Um, stability. All kinds of goodness. Right? Doesn't even need, You don't even need to be rich here, but you might be wealthy within your own right, within your own self, being comfortable with what you have, being grounded in all that good stuff. Right? <laughs> 
It's at the bottom of the deck. Justice. Wow. So you could be dealing with a Libra. You don't have to be. But <clears throat> in this case, uh, maybe in the past you did have something that wasn't that great. Right? Or you were dealing with somebody who, you know, it just wasn't that great for you. But it looks like somebody here is is wanting something brand new. You're really going over it in your head. You really want this to be forever. You don't want this to be some divorce, whatever, end up. You know what I'm saying? You want to know if this is the one. Because that's what you got on your mind, I think. I do feel that there may be some justice here. I don't know. It just all depends. Because that justice didn't fly out. So there could be justice or there could not be justice, right? Yes, that right there. This is your obstacle. We have the Four of Wands. This is the 1111 card, soulmate. I found my soulmate, right? Did you? This is your obstacle, right? Wondering if this is your soulmate. So you could be, you know, you could be just here, just tripping out, checking something out. Not really, you know, knowing what you're looking at. Just wanting to check it out for your sign. And you're thinking maybe somebody is your soulmate and this is an obstacle because maybe you don't believe in that stuff or maybe you want to believe in it, but you just, it's hard to grasp. I don't know, but this is an obstacle and the obstacle could be that you may have found that one person, but you're still in judgment mode because, because of maybe past relationships, maybe you've had your heart broken before. You know, something like that. And you don't want this shit to happen again. And I don't blame you. I'm, all, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm not trying to make no mistakes. You know, and I feel like maybe that's what you're doing too. And, and good. Be sure. You know, I usually, me myself, I usually had to have a five-year rule. I broke that rule and that, that experience failed. But the rule is, you know, to be with somebody at least five years, going through things with them for f at least five years, going through ups and downs, gaining trust, all that stuff. You know, you don't need to rush into anything. That person ain't going to be going nowhere if they love you, right? Be sure. Be sure on this decision. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. So you may have had your heart broken before or you are afraid of having it broken again. That's what I'm saying. Give it time. Don't rush into anything. I'm telling you. <laughs> Be sure, you know. What can be uh, another final outcome here, you know, in regards to all this stuff that's going on for Virgo for June 2022? the unknown card okay so this is about you and using your own intuition they're not going to give us no answer here because there is no answer right this is about you making judgment and believing whether or not this is true for you if this is your soulmate whatever you want to call it now, the unknown card is there because, like, are you going to jump into this? Or are you going to, you know, think about this? Give it some time. What's at the bottom of the deck here? Yeah, Ace of Swords. You want the truth about everything. The only way you're going to find out the truth is uh, becoming someone's friend, getting to know them. Become, you know, me personally, if I get into another relationship and and maybe want it to go to a higher level of commitment, I want to make sure that I'm with like my best friend. You know what I'm saying? That person that's been there through ups and downs. We've experienced things together, you know, and, and they're still there. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to find. You know, you want to find somebody that, that speaks truth to you, makes you feel truth, makes you know truth because you trust, trust that person. Right? Yeah. So I'm kind of looking at the candle. And for a second there, it kind of looked like, kind of like, you know how a brain looks. It has all those little crevices. It looked like that for a second to me. And no, and, and Virgo, you're the sign of the hermit, right? So you know better. 
than to jump into anything. And if you are thinking serious, you could, there's nothing wrong with telling that person, look, I, I'm thinking something serious, but I want, to, I want someone who's going to be there for me, you know? And I don't need a piece of paper to see whether or not this person's going to be by my side or not, right? Because you don't. Maybe you tell someone you got a certain amount of year rule too. And trust, if they love you, they will be there. Okay? So somebody might need to think about some things right now. Somebody might also be sad about, um, okay, somebody might also be sad to say this to somebody because they're afraid that somebody doesn't want to wait. And, and somebody might be begging well please wait please wait it look doesn't this look like someone down on their knees with their hands up praying please wait or please somebody might be praying uh for somebody to come to to wait or listen if someone's not going to wait for you right for like that marriage now this is if you guys are physically together already not like somebody's away or in prison or no don't expect to wait for anybody for that situation but this is like you're actually in a relationship and you're doing daily things with this person you both have jobs maybe you both live together have a certain amount of time to be with that person uh, you know give them and you know and and tell them i want to make sure that we're this is this is the right thing i want i want this to be forever and if you want it too then you will wait and and, and work this out and, and struggle this out with me whatever right whatever that case all right that's what i got from the candle so <laughs> um that's all i have for you virgo um if it resonated don't forget to subscribe like comment and share also keep it true love energy happy friendly loving types we have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful i'm mona's kaleidoscope dreams tarot and i'll talk to you next time bye